Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Distribution Asset Health Index Fundamentals course. Now in this series, I will talk about the topic of Asset Health Index and how it is used in the power utility companies. Please note that this video is just the introduction and it is part of a playlist. I have put the link to the playlist for this free course in the video description below. With this course, you will learn how to conduct health index analysis and its calculations and apply it to the power distribution system. And with this, you will also learn the different modes of degradation of the major power distribution assets, as well as condition assessments based on these modes of degradation. This course is for reliability and maintenance engineers who are managing various assets for their business. Now, you will learn more about uh, how health index is being applied to the power distribution system as an example, but asset health index can be used in all of other applications as well, like generation plants, uh, like in the transportation industry, etc. Next, this course is for professionals who are designing asset health management plans for their company, as well as people who are running an engineering consultant firm that helps clients implement health index systems. So now let us look at our course outline. We will first learn about the fundamentals uh, with respect to asset health index. And then we are going to do a very, very detailed analysis and application to the power distribution system, just to show you as an example, or as a very complex example, how health index is being applied in the utility world. Now we will start with um, our overhead line section, where we first talk about um, overhead poles and its modes of degradation. And then we will talk about um, its conditional assessments, followed by um, how do we calculate the overhead poles and the overhead lines health index. Now, of course, um, the power distribution system doesn't only include poles and overhead lines. So in our next section, we will look at um, how underground cable system uh, is going to be uh, uh, maintained using the health index system. Afterwards, then we will look at our transformer section where we're going to look at how health index is being applied to transformers and voltage regulators. Followed by the section of switches where we're going to look at how health index is being applied to switch gears, reclosers, and disconnects. Lastly, we are going to look at various other types of assets um, that you will find within the power distribution system and how health index is, be, uh, is going to be applied to these type of assets, such as the capacitor banks, the arrestors, as well as what we call the distribution right of ways. Now, if you like this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. Our channel, the Double E Bootcamp, has a wealth of knowledge regarding to the energy industry, so be sure to check it out. Also, this video is part of a playlist of the whole course, and so I've put the link to the playlist for this free course in the video description. As you may be aware, I'm a professional online instructor that teaches various topics regarding to the energy industry and offers certificate of completion at the end of each course. As you probably have noticed, this course needs fundamental knowledge in basic asset management. Physical asset management is important and the skills are highly sought after in many large companies within the energy industry or any industry that manages large asset in infrastructures for that matter. If you lack knowledge in physical asset management, look no further than my physical asset management, management fundamentals course offered at Electrical Engineering Portal, as in that course, I will provide you with the fundamentals that you need to kickstart your career in the physical asset management world. 
Another type of knowledge that you need for this course is fundamental information about the power distribution system. If you don't have enough experience in the industry, I would suggest you to enroll in my distribution power engineering fundamentals course hosted on Udemy, as in that course, I will walk you through the different parts of the power distribution system, as well as basic design concepts that you will need to kickstart your career in the industry. Now, I have put the links to both of these courses in the video description also. Lastly, I have also included the link to my website in the video description that contains the information to all the courses that I offer as well as other helpful resources um, that you may find useful in your career or in your learning path. Thank you and I wish you good luck in your career. Remember, knowledge is power.